Hi, I'm Matt Hill and I am the uh, Admissions Manager here at ACC University College uh, and I'm here today to talk about how to apply for one of our undergraduate programmes through UCAS. So, uh, we have nine courses that you can apply to uh, through UCAS for. Uh, the first one in our School of Chiropractic is the Masters in Chiropractic programme, which is four or five years long, uh, depending on the qualifications that you have. Um, we also have four courses in our Sport and Exercise Science uh, related field. So we have uh, a BSc in Sports Science, a BSc Clinical Exercise and Rehabilitation Science, uh, a BSc uh, sport, Exercise and Health Science and also a BSc in Health and Exercise Science. Um, all of those courses are three years long. Uh, we also have four courses in our Psychology uh, cluster. So uh, the first one is a BSc in Psychology. Uh, the second one is a BSc in Psychology and Counselling. Uh, the third one is a BSc in Health Psychology. And the fourth one is uh, a BSc in Sports and Exercise Psychology. So applications can actually start being filled out from May 2018. Uh, so you can go onto the UCAS website now and register for an application form and you can start filling it in. Uh, the earliest that you'll actually be able to send that application uh, is early September 2018. Um, and the on-time application deadline, the deadline by which you need to make sure your application is in, uh, is January the 15th, 2019. So you've got between early September and January the 15th to make sure that your application comes in on time. So applications are assessed primarily uh, based on three sections of the UCAS form. Uh, so the first one is your qualifications section. Uh, and within that section, uh, you need to be talking about the qualifications that you've already achieved um, and any qualifications that you're due to achieve. Um, so you have to mark those qualifications that you're still waiting for the final results from uh, as pending on your uh, qualifications section. Um, the second uh, section that we use to assess your application will be your personal statement. And this is a really important part of your application. Uh, so our top tip would definitely be uh, to make sure that you uh, start your personal statement in Microsoft Word. Uh, that way you can change it as much as you want to. And it's really your opportunity, the personal statement, to emphasize exactly why it is that you're applying for this particular course. Um, for some applicants, it may be that there was a particular uh, incident or occasion in their life that made them decide that this is what they want to do. Uh, for other applicants, it may just be um, that they've been searching online for courses and they've decided that this is the course they want to do. Whatever it is that's your motivation for applying for this course, it's really important to convey that within your personal statement. Uh, the other thing to say as well is that uh, it's really important to list any extracurricular activities that you have uh, that you think are relevant to this course. So for example, uh, if you work one day on a weekend uh, or if you play sports after school, um, tell us about those things because it gives us a better idea of the type of individual that you are. Um, and finally, please, please, please make sure that you leave plenty of time to get this done. Uh, many applicants will say that uh, their first iteration of their personal statement was not the one that ended up on their UCAS form, so it's really important uh, that you give yourself plenty of time. And then the third section that we'll use to assess your application is your reference section. Um, and this would normally be provided by um, a school or a college uh, for most applicants. Uh, for mature students who may have been out of education for a while, uh, this can be an employment reference. Um, but this should detail the, t the kind of character that you are and why that person feels you're suitable uh, for that particular course of study. Um, so those are the three sections really that we use to assess your application. For some courses, for example the Masters of Chiropractic course, um, we also have additional entry requirements. Um, so for students who apply for that program, you need to submit your UCAS application. Um, and then if your application uh, is successful after the initial assessment, you would then need to undertake an interview. Um, and also applicants would have to undergo um, a DBS check. Um, or if you're applying from outside the UK, you'd need to provide a national police certificate um, to, to enter the course. 